Welcome to Coffee with Brett. I'm Brett Harned and I'm the Director of Education at Team Gantt. Thanks so much for checking out this video. You know, if you're looking for more project management tips and tools, definitely check us out at teamgantt.com or on social. And click that subscribe button so you get notified when we release new episodes. All right, so let's jump in. You know, I'm fully caffeinated with a cup of coffee still in my hand and I'm ready to let you in on a secret weapon of mine. If secret weapon, if you will, you know, it's my second must have as a PM. And it's a quick and easy tool that's super powerful to add to your workflow. You want to take a guess about what it is? It's funny when I talk to the camera like this, right? Well, I'm talking to you. All right, did you guess? Well, if you guessed Team Gantt, you're wrong. Good guess though, because that's actually my first must have. You know, plans are not optional ever. Definitely remember that. All right, so the number two thing, the thing that I'm talking about today is status reports. And they actually work hand in hand with your project plan. You know, a regular status report can be one of the most helpful communication tools on any project, large or small. You know, it's an easy way to keep your team and your stakeholders informed and to manage expectations as your project makes progress or your team makes progress. So I always recommend doing weekly or bi-weekly status reports depending on the size and the scope of your project. And I only say that because, you know, you might not need to report out on smaller projects, but you'll need to be the judge of that. But if you're having trouble keeping people aligned on project details, this will absolutely helpfully help you. Essentially, I see the status report as a critical form of communication that keeps everyone honest about project details. A good status report covers the work that's recently been done and highlights what's coming next. By outlining that, you can set expectations about what's complete and what will not be revisited, as well as look to what's coming next and have conversations or even educate your team or your stakeholders about how next steps fit into your overall process. A regular status report also includes an overall update on your timeline percent complete, which you can pull directly out of Team Gantt, as well as a budget update if you report on budgets. It's just as important to include next steps and action items in your status report so you can be 100% sure that all parties are accountable for their tasks. Lastly, I always recommend using the status report as your own way of tracking possible issues or risks and initiating open conversations about those things before they become huge problems for you. This is a part of the status report that certainly requires a little bit of transparency and some critical thinking on your part. Now, the thing here is that you don't want to alarm your team and your stakeholders about risks, but if you see a potential issue, you should document it and discuss it in your status report or in your status meeting, because talking through an issue early on will help you to resolve it more quickly. Plus, you'll have it documented. And when you do that, you can just justify why a certain decision was made or why a date was missed if something is looked at later on in the project. Basically, I want you to cover yourself with documentation. I'm sure you get it. You know, it's easy to pull a status report together. It typically takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to write my first project status report, and then about 15 minutes weekly just to update it. And man, is that worth the time. They're so helpful, not only in keeping things documented, but I have to say, it kind of makes difficult conversations easier because you get to present it in writing before actually discussing it. Maybe that's a little bit of a mind trick that I'm playing my, on myself to give me a little bit of confidence to jump into those difficult conversations. I don't know. It works. I also tend to think that the status report makes people more accountable to the project and to their task. Why is that, you ask? Well, because a status report really shines a light on all of the work that's happening and opens up discussion about progress and issues related to the work in a way that, you know, just looking at a project plan can't be done alone. <sighs> It's that added PM context that's really gonna make that status report useful. So again, it's definitely worth your time and your extra thought. Think about it this way. If you're a PM or if you're a project lead, this is your deliverable, so make it good. If you wanna start implementing status reports, grab our free status report template at the URL on screen here or in the show notes. You know, This is a template that I've used for years. It's one that I created and it really does cover all the bases. All right, so the last thing I wanna talk about before you write your first status report using that template. I recommend getting your status reports on your calendar by conducting a meeting to review it with your team and your stakeholders. 
That is going to make you accountable to getting it done every week before that meeting so that you can arrive prepared and be ready to have conversations. Same thing goes for everyone else. Make sure you deliver that status report in advance of the meeting so people can skim it and then you can discuss. I think the bonus in doing that is that when you write a status report, it really does force you to check in on all of the aspects of the project. So you'll update your plan and look at your upcoming tasks and milestones. You'll work through your to-dos and check in on that budget. It's the stuff that you have to do as a PM, but we all know that a lot of other things get in the way of that. We call it firefighting pretty often. So anyway, get in a routine and you'll always rest assured that everyone is up to date with the project. If you're not doing status reports now, I certainly encourage you to, so get on it. All right, that's all I have on status reports. Tell me, what's your PM must have? Is it a status report, a plan, something else? Share that in the comments and I'll see you next time. Cheers.